few more inside the is it the curriculum? There are a lot. Uh. So these are the main few that I thought was were important. So maybe a bit easier to tell the players by you bring them out to the as you bring out the players to the area, they tell them, okay, this is the goal post, this is where it's called the goal. So they have a visual image and easier for them to visualize. Then uh, some rules and regulation, very generic, uh, yellow card and red card. I'm sure you know. It's uh, apply everywhere. Then uh, the offset rule does it apply to special objects? No, I'm not sure. We need to check oh. with the exact rule, but um, also rule at the most professional level they apply. It. Of course, but because we are training them for uh, special Olympics, mm -hmm. so we we I or rather I hope to. Um, this is what we carry out just now in the training. So they have to know that in soccer there is the offensive and the defensive. Then uh, they use the different parts of the body to to get it done. Basically, the same objective is to put the goal, the ball into the goal post. Something with the stands or something with it's, it's a formal practice play. For most of the lessons we carry out yeah, in mainstream schools as well. One is the early kicker and official kicker. As we turn on there, uh, early kicker, they just want to push the ball. There is no support group inside the ball, which is what we observe just now. Most of them uh, just want to push the ball, which is uh, so they are early kickers. <coughs> All right, the official kicker will have more body movement. They will have the support group inside the ball. They will know to use the other hand to create momentum and uh, they have more rotation. Is it hard to visualize though? No, it's not hard, but um, I can see that 90% of my students will be able to do assessment for them. Mm. So this could be one of the way we assess them, how they are progressing in terms of kicking. So if someone is able to put the support hook beside the, the, the ball, but he doesn't have front rotation, maybe you can put him at uh, stage 3. Right, but if he is able to lean backwards uh, and do the run up to the ball, then he's most likely stage five. But now most of them are stage one because they are not running up to the ball. They don't have the support foot and they're just pushing the ball. They have no direction. What's stage one, stage two? Stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. You can design your As in stage one is the early kicker. Stage five will be the most proficient kicker. Okay. So if someone is in stage one, your target of course, will bring you to stage two and subsequently to stage five. Then uh, we use this as a gauge to see whether the person is actually progressing or actually maybe it's not even suitable to argue the player, maybe it's, should, it's better as a good kicker. Mm. So you, uh, maybe from the first lesson it's hard to see, uh, but subsequently uh, after they tell you what's the interest, then you see, okay this guy is able to kick the ball, he's able to run after the ball, so maybe you can put it a bit that. This guy is good with his hands, he's able to save the ball and he's agile. We can use him as a Of course. Yeah. Um, in your context, uh, in your curriculum, are there any uh, uh, suggestions to training like what you did just now? Uh, the specific group? Uh, in general, yeah. Like, like <coughs> how you uh, train them by placing cones, either dribbling and balls and stuff. Uh, most of the time, stuff like that. I, I think of the the exercise of the sport. Yeah. Depending because on the you know the sports inside out, you think. Yeah. Yeah. Right, now, right now, I am trying to um, transfer the, what, the general knowledge that you have over to pure events. Okay. Um, maybe I would suggest uh, something that is generic across all the sports. Yeah, so you think you're jumping, running, or the running thing. So <coughs> once you get them to master the basic, you don't have to change the sport so much. As in, uh, then there are two things you can modify. So basically, just I can give you the list of what are the things we can modify, how we can change. Then at the end of the day, it's up to your instructors how they want to do the, the, the drill or the exercise. For example, the class size is very small, only four people, or up to be up to twenty five people. Just now the basketball was a bit crowded. I should sure realize. Then the area was a bit too small. So what can we do with a small area with a lot of people? We get them to sit down and make sure they are engaged. Uh, we, we should be able to manage it's, it's more of the uh, specific training methods, methodology yes. and, and all that uh, we are not aware of. And 
often the times, if I put myself in the shoes, uh, if I am a layman, I wouldn't know if this is suitable for this training. If this types of uh, training is it uh, recommended for this sport activities. Yeah. So I, like I mentioned, it's, it's, it will be beneficial if you can uh, you know, put in suggestions like, oh, perhaps you can do this, 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 do this, 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 you know. Assuming we have all the equipment. Yeah, assuming we have all the equipment. I can come up with you from you, but I will be limited. No problem. It won't be, you can't apply, maybe you can apply for two, three years, then after that. You need to come on something new. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think that's too much of an issue because our, our clients, uh, they will go out mm -hmm. to work by, on the average of uh, three years in three years' time. Because at the end of the day, it's up to the workers what they want to achieve at the end of the lesson. Mm -hmm. If the lesson is to achieve concrete practice, but the focus is too high, that's more focus than who will have some offense. So they are able to achieve success, which is why that's not doing for share of the the codes up. So that they are able to achieve success subsequently, subsequently, as I can minimize the area. Not to that. Most of the time, as in I, last time we used the circle stars, the rounded one, now they come up with a new one, which is the, a piece of stuff. That means a few pieces of line like that. That time is the more expensive type, so we, may, we should encourage the clients to buy the cheaper ones, which are the rounded one. So that that are easier for them. Then, uh, upper body is just as you see. Behind, there will be an upper and the for the execution of the front. Yeah. And when if they play until the professional level or they manage to reach the special Olympics, I strongly encourage you to 